Creating a new material in AutoCAD is fairly simple. Firstly, you would need a texture for which you wish to create the background with, or you can just create a new texture or material with a basic color. Firstly, I go to Options, Elements, Attributes, Materials, and I'm going to make a new tile which I'm going to put in the strip where the bricks are and I'm going to duplicate tiles because the settings is already mostly set up so I duplicate it and I'm going to call it tile red firstly you change the surface color which will change the color of this little block in your materials catalog let's change it to red then there's your transparency settings, transmittance, attenuation, emission, glowing, reflection. These you can play around with. There's even you can even change your emission color and your speculator color. Next is your vectoral hatching. The, these you can choose fills which you wish to display it on elevation or plan section. And then there's texture. As you can see, it's still the texture from the old texture. All I need to do now is search for my new texture, which is loaded on my computer. So I load it from file dialog box. Double click. Say OK. Now, as you can see, my new texture is loaded in my preview window. I created this preview with the internal engine. Now I'm going to move over to Lightworks rendering engine for additional settings and this because I render with this engine. I open my Lightworks shader settings and as you can see it still has the appearance of the old material. Um, now if I click on match with internal engine it loaded the new material and texture I set up. Now if I press OK, now I change the strip material to the one I just created, tile red, say OK. It loads this new material, but as you can see, it's much bigger than I anticipated. So I just go to materials, back to my material I created and I say back to internal engine because that's where I edit my texture make it smaller as you can see it now fits perfectly into the space I intended it to be Along with creating a material, you can deselect it. You can align the 3D texture if it's not on the place you want it to be, as well as set the direction to even reset it. And that is how you create a material in AutoCAD. Hope this helps and good luck.